So back to cleaning up Christmas and New Year's and the holiday and just making everything fresh and bright for the new year. It is always hard for me to take down Christmas because I love Christmas. I'm one of those who can leave the tree up for months and months into the new year. But I did decide since I am home, I would start to just take off ornaments here and there from the tree. And then I just was on a roll and decided to take it all down. So the tree is bare, it's ready to go outside. I did vacuum today. Since I'm down here on the floor, and I've been meaning to do this video for a while, I'm actually really, really excited because you know me and tea sets and tea and all of that good stuff. I did mention that my sister gave to me a antique tea set from our great grandmother and it is all here she has it all wrapped up waiting for me to unwrap so I'm really excited I have no idea what this set looks like because it is wrapped up I don't remember it in her China hutch so it's going to be Christmas all over again and I'm just really excited to have an heirloom from my great-grandmother and having it be a tea set um, I am really really excited so let's get into it I can see right here is the huge teapot so um, it is wrapped in Christmas paper so let me go ahead and just unwrap it and we can kind of be surprised together so it looks like this and I'm sorry the lighting is like really bad but I will hold it so it looks like uh, hydrangeas or maybe uh, pansies it does have gold gilding on it and knowing my great-grandmother that's probably a 24 karat gold Okay, so the bottom of it reads just like Buddy's grandmother set, and this is from my great grandmother, so a bit older. Um, it is Japanese pottery. It is hand painted. Um, says hand painted in Japan, and it has a certain like stamp of authenticity. So that's really really awesome. Um, and let's move on to just unwrapping all the little bits and bobs here. This looks like it is the top to the. Um, the top to the teapot so that will rest here and I want to just be extra super nope that's not it I just want to be extra careful with everything because it is so old um, that must be the top to maybe a sugar dish or something this is another little and it looks like maybe a creamer like something you would use to put cream in um, and continuing let's just unwrap everything okay these are little saucers that looks like that we actually have a tea cart downstairs so I might have to try to figure out um, where I can put it up here in the room because we do I do have the whole tea set set up I do want to start using this since it is so you know dear and precious to me because it belonged to my grandmother's mother who um, passed away shortly after I was born so I don't remember much about her um, these actually might even be the teacups because I'm seeing two of the same kind of thing just with a different painting on it because they are hand painted but all of them have like the gold gilding around it that would be really cool if those were the cups because you know uh, tea is all about a thinned lip cup that makes the tea for some reason taste so much better that's why you shouldn't drink tea out of a thick coffee mug um, so moving on this is looks like a sugar bowl um, again like and I'm really sorry the lighting in here is really bad so again like gold gilding and you can see um, it's really really in good shape like just no chips or anything let's continue to open it's like Christmas okay here is another little cup so I'm thinking these are the cups and I'm really excited because normally you have in this era you have like a wide um, you know cups that are kind of wide and deep like that but these are really kind of tall they're really thin lips so that is awesome moving on and this looks like it is the top to the teapot okay so that fits right in there isn't that gorgeous no really it is like it's really really pretty it's just like really um, it's almost like Victorian which I really like I know that's not really manly but yeah I really really like this stuff another little cup and over here I have another little saucer for the cup 
I just think it's so cute. Okay, and this is probably another little cup as well. Shown off. And I believe that these are more saucers. Yes, so um, three more saucers. It's actually really cool. There is a, there are five cups. This lid actually goes to the sugar bowl. Okay, so just like that. Um, and there are five little cups and saucers like this. Okay, I really, really like it. It's like, yeah, just, it just, not only that it's a tea set, because I love anything about tea and tea sets and such, but this is my great-grandmother's. To have an heirloom from my great-grandmother is really, really exciting to me. It's really, really precious to me, so I want to find a special spot for this. My sister did mention that she wasn't able to find a creamer. She wasn't sure if it just wasn't passed down to her or if it was lost, uh, you know, somewhere along the way, but I'm happy with the sugar bowl, the five cups the five saucers and then the main attraction is this awesome um, teapot it's just really it's just really really pretty in my opinion so thank you for joining me in my unwrapping because like I said I didn't know what this stuff looked like I didn't remember it in her China hutch um, and I'm really really thankful and grateful to her for, for passing this off to me um, so thank you for enjoying that with me Thank you for watching and subscribing to my channel and to my daily vlogs. Let me know what type of heirlooms you've received from your family. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button. And over here, you can watch other videos. Don't forget, spread it, spread aloha every day. Bye.